All right, well, first of all, let me just say I'm super excited that we actually had an episode, a new episode today, because usually week of Thanksgiving, we get like a season recap. So yay for a new episode. Um, for this episode, I'm going to break it down by um, contestant. And I have to start with Abby. I mean, do I feel bad for her? Yes. And, but it's kind of funny, really, to see her reaction like that. I mean, she's acting like this, you know, schoolyard bully that, like, punches people in the face and, and, you know, and then as soon as she gets called out or gets, like, a small punch in the face herself, she's like, oh, wah, wah, like, poor me, I didn't realize cultural differences. There was no way that's a cultural difference. I mean, she did the same thing to Lisa. She bashed Lisa twice in tribal council. She bullied RC and Scoopin before that in Tandang. I mean, she's really just getting what's coming to her. And do I feel bad? Yes, but I'm also really, like, entertained, and I'd like to see what she would, you know, what she would say if she were to watch herself. Um, on the other hand, like, I actually love her as a Survivor contestant. Like, she adds so much to the season, so much to the show. I could totally see her coming back. I mean, do I like her as a contestant, like, slash person? No. But there's so many ways you can use her, and there's so many ways she messes people's game up, and there's so many ways that she, like, helps people as well. It's great. I, I think she's a great addition to the show. Pete... I'm bummed that he got voted out, but so it goes. He was a great player. Um, he made some good moves. It's a shame. I really think that if he had somehow managed to pull it off and make it to the end somehow, he would have totally deserved to win. And I think he would have had a great shot. Like, great player. It just, you know, the cards did not fall his way this time. Uh, Malcolm, I thought his move at the reward challenge was good in terms of not discussing strategy because in that sense he didn't have to make promises that he wouldn't be able to keep. I do agree that he's a big threat and I do agree that he's playing hard, but he's also playing fair. Like He is being loyal, you know, and, and he hasn't given anyone any reason not to trust him. The only reason they don't trust him is because they know that they can't beat him, that he, like, he is playing the best game right now. Um, not playing the idol at Tribal was a huge gamble, huge, and it could have totally backfired on him. It, I mean, it could have been the end for him, but it worked out for him, and I'm glad he gets, he still gets to keep that bargaining chip of the idol, and uh, right now he's definitely the, the contender and uh, the one people need to watch out for. Penner was a total idiot to just say to Scoop it and Lisa that he didn't want to talk about it until later, talk about Final Three strategy talk. I mean, that was such a dumb move, and it really is, I'm sure it's going to bite him in the ass. Um, and from what we saw in the preview, it's going to start happening. But, um, yeah, that was a really dumb move. I mean, even Scoopin said it, like, when someone approaches you Final Four, you say yes, just because if you say no, you're singling yourself out. And by doing that, he really just, he didn't do himself any favors whatsoever. Scoopin, could he win if he gets to the end? I don't know yet, but he does have the potential. I mean, he did make the move to get Artis out, and that was, like, his big move. He could have had the power to vote out Malcolm, and that would have been another big move had he made it to the end. But to be honest, like, where would he have gone? Like, what what next? The only reason that this was the right opportunity to do, to do it is because they were splitting the votes, and they're not going to be doing that anymore. So he would have he would have actually screwed himself over. So I understand why he didn't do that. Because, and also, I... I I think he is being loyal. Like, the only reason he flipped, I mean, he has a perfectly legitimate excuse to have flipped. I mean, no one trusted him. He wasn't part of an alliance. He was also being singled out and bullied in Tandang. Like, I completely understand that, and no one can hold that against him. Um, and another note, I thought the challenges this episode were really cool, and I would have loved to do them. Um, and so it's nice to see some fresh challenges on the show. And on that note, happy Thanksgiving!